This is part two dealing with the issue of the essentials of the Christian faith, the doctrine of God, that he is a triune God, a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, that's uh, something we won't compromise on. If you deny the Trinity, the deity of Christ, you're not saved. Now, I'm aware of those who say, but what about the United Pentecostals? And what about the Jesus only? And what about the Muslims? And what about this? We well, see those liberals who are bringing up these objections realize that they want the heathen to be saved. And in order for the heathen to be saved, those who've never heard of Christ are those who have heard and rejected, but they're Muslims, Hindus, and Buddhists, and whatnot, Moonies and Mormons. In order to say that they too can make it to heaven, they have to do away with the necessity of hearing the gospel and obeying it. You see, we must believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We must believe in the deity of Christ, his bodily resurrection. We must believe that there is life after death and that Jesus Christ arose from the dead and there's a coming resurrection of the dead. Anyone who denies eternal conscious punishment has denied an essential doctrine of the church. Anyone who teaches soul sleep, annihilationism, universalism, you even have this one guy, I'll call him a nemno, for teaching that reincarnation is a Christian doctrine. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we have forgotten the Bible. The reason that these modern apologists are letting the heathen in, letting Muslims in, and trying to say we're all the same is that they're part of the one world church. The master design of Satan to create a one world religion and a one world government. Beware of anyone who waters down the essentials of the faith.